Alrighty, fans of Ottawa, welcome back to another GM mode commentary with your Ottawa Senators in year six. Not a good one. We missed the playoffs again. Everybody was just underperforming this year. I mean, you can see here 53 points was the highest point total. It's like it's not bad, but it just wasn't enough this year. So we'll quickly recap what happened last episode. We just couldn't get going, man. It's just, it was sad. But looking on the upside, we do have a young power forward, very young, very strong and big, Julian Biesca. Yes, he only had 33 points, but this is his first year, and he was an 82 to start out the year. Now he's jumped up to an 87. We also um, acquired Paul Amito in a trade last year, too. And, I mean, like, it's... And, and also, Team Omir and these guys, like, they played okay. They played exceptional, but it just wasn't wasn't a good year in the end. Like, uh, Mike Hoffman, he kind of significantly dropped off in the past three years. And um, Eric Carlson, he, I mean, he's been playing okay, but he kind of dropped off all, all, as well, you know. So it's a little concerning. So I think one of these power forwards, and I think it's going to be Mier, because I really like this, um, this young guy right here. And, you know, we're not going to trade a franchise potential player. But I think Mier is going to have to go because, you know, it's just, he's, he's 26, he's done growing. It's kind of sad. But, I mean, we brought in Mazora here. And for, you know, for playing on the top six, getting 20 points is not bad. So maybe he can, maybe he's turning out to be something for us. Maybe he's a late bloomer. You never know. But the goaltending we had, um, we had, we, we traded for Malcolm Subban halfway through the year. I couldn't remember who our goaltender was exactly. But we were hoping spot check would grow. Now he's only an 81, but he's up this year. Maybe we can offer him a cheap contract, and he grows. So, I mean, there's really nothing to go over. I think I already looked over all the awards and everything. If I didn't, well, here you go. I'll just briefly recap. Um, oh, yeah, we did go over this because I remember Kucherov was just going off this year. And then I remember uh, Wiljegren winning the uh, James Norris, which was a bit surprising. But, hey, that's uh, it's pretty cool to see. I bet Maple Leafs fans will want to see that in uh, real life in the future. But, I mean, before we can go into the draft, I mean, we can see um, players we, pin we can pin. I think I already got a ton, which is pretty good. But we can just see here last minute. I don't remember where we're picking in the draft also. That's why I hate ending last episode before the draft because, you know, I got to go, go back and recap. So, um, seventh round grinder, pin him. A lot of top sixes, pin this guy. Okay, there's four that I believe we got pinned. Any good defenseman? No, there's a high starter from France. That's interesting. He's probably not going to be anything special, sadly. But yeah, there's all the exacts. Oh, wait, who do I pinned here? So, we got an HL top six. I mean, we just got to watch for these two. We already know what these, are, these guys are going to be, but... Well, I wonder what these guys will turn out. So... There you go. That's probably the, probably the players are going to be going to be going after in the draft. Like I said, I can't remember where we're picking. I'll take a look as soon as we jump into it, but I can't remember. Um, and then, for, well, well, we'll look at the contracts when we need to get them. I looked to offer contract extensions, but none of my more expensive players wanted anything. So let's go into the draft here and see where we're picking. I can't, like I said, I can't remember. So okay, so we are picking eighth overall. I wonder if we can move up. But I don't think we can. So, Minnesota. I don't think they, they're rebuilding. They don't want to move up. I don't think Vegas would either. New York, probably not. Vegas. And usually teams don't like to trade their first overall picks. and um, Or first overall. Their first round picks later in the uh, GM modes. Uh, Buffalo. They're drafting fourth. They don't want to give it up. See, nobody really wants to give it up. Anaheim and Calgary. Um, Anaheim C. Nope. Just, I don't think anybody's interested in giving their pick up. I, I mean, is it really worth it to move up one spot? Yeah, I don't think so. So, St. Louis will be our last try to move up. And if not, well, no. See, okay, I mean, I don't really, I want to keep on, I want to hold on to this pick. I do. I, I, I think the eighth overall pick is a good pick, but do we want to use that pick to make a big trade? That's what I'm thinking. I mean, Let's take a look at the draft class here. Uh, oops, nope, nope, nope. View draft class. So like, at potentially eighth overall. Um, hello. Potentially eighth overall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can get this guy, or we can even take the guy I have uh, pinned. But I mean, a center playmaker. I already got plenty, so there's really no point in that trade, in my opinion. So I think we're gonna make a big trade here in trading this eighth overall pick. That's it. May be a bit risky. But I want to do it. We got to get this team back into the playoffs and make them a contending team. So let me find a trade, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alrighty, so here's the trade I've come up with here. So we got Team Omir, our eighth overall pick, and 
Boris Grigorenko, he was drafted in the fifth round like a couple years ago, I guess. I mean, he's got good potential, but I don't really need him. I got a better, I got a decent defense score. And we're going to be going after Jacob Verana and their 19th overall pick in the first round this year. So, Jake, oops, we'll, we'll check it from here. Jacob Verana. So, it's, it's Jacob, right? Or Jake? J Jakob. Jakob, I believe. So, I mean, he's had some exceptionally good seasons here in, um, in Washington. He had a bit of a slow start, and then he's been picking it up right here. And where you could say, well, oh, these past years he's been playing with Ovechkin. I mean, no, Ovechkin gone. So he's putting up the putting up these points on a very weak looking team. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah, they got the goaltender, but doesn't have Ovechkin or Backstrom there with him. He just has Kuznetsov, and we got players over here he can play with. So we, he's getting he's making a million more than um year is, but for, for one what for one less year. So he's how old again? He is, what, 27? So he's right in the middle of his prime. He's pretty fast. You know, we'll see what he can do for the team. But does Washington want to accept it? Trade accepted. Okay, so we got, so we moved back in the draft, but we get a better player, I feel like. So Mier was just not a good not a good stint with him, not a good run with him in his 82 games here with um with Ottawa. So hopefully um he can come in and be something big. Kyle Posko, okay, he has one year left. I didn't know if we had to trade him or not. I don't think we want to trade anybody else. I'm going to keep Mike Hoffman. He's a big, big player for this team now. Logan Brown. We're probably going to have to qualify him and trade him because I'm not satisfied. And, of course, a phone call. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, sorry about that interruption, but here we are back now. I think we had everything we need. I think the team is okay. I don't think we need to make any big trades. Um, We good? We good. We may have to, I don't know if spot check's going to be ready next year, though. But, hey. We'll see how it goes, and um, I think, actually, we are going to be trading all those crappy prospects just from, like, some seventh rounders. Do that real quick. Uh, just see what I have real here, right here. Um, We'll keep him. Keep him for now. All these other guys. Here, let's get that goalie in here. Trade him. We'll try to get, like, a third out of these prospects. I don't want to be, I don't want to fleece him too much. Okay, well, how about a team that actually wants to give up their picks? Um, There we go. Okay, so, like, a third, fourth, and a seventh. It's pretty fair. There we go, and then get all these other prospects here just for 7th and 6th. Get Ford, him, 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 him. Jesus, man. <laughs> so many picks. I think I only trade for 1 7th, just, well, 6th and 7th, that's it. That's it. 6th and 7th is all I'm trading for. Um, Get all these guys out of here. All the guys I'm not going to sign. Just try to get some, at least a little bit of something back. Oh, my God, there's so many. So many. Um... Six and a seventh. There we go. From Calgary. We're just making quick trades right here. Nothing huge. And any more players. Oh my god. So many. Oh my god. There we go. There's the last four. We'll just give them a seventh for this one. And there we go. Just like that. Done. All the trades done. Let's go here into the draft now. So we'll see who they draft with that 8th overall pick. But we got the 19th here. So I wonder if any of the players I pinned are still there. I hope they are. Um, okay, so Vitaly. Remember, we were going to draft him 8th overall. Look, he's fell back. But there is an offensive defenseman. six foot three, seventeen. Do we have a later pick in the first round? How far in the second round? No, I, I don't want to risk that. I think we got to go with the um, the elite right now. But um, okay, so let's take a look at the draft here. Uh, wow, three medium elites, all 81s, another 80 right there. And then um, oops, uh, Anaheim screwed up. I mean, they got a good player, but they screwed up. Um, and with the eighth overall pick, they draft that guy. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Olshek, 66 overall medium, top six forward. So yeah, that was somebody we didn't really uh, need. So, yeah, here we are, 19th overall pick. I think we're going to take the uh, exact elite. Got to be safe. So, offensive defenseman, first, second round, 52 overall. Going to take some time to grow, but hey, he could be a potentially good player. So, second round here with the fourth overall pick. Um, anybody pinned? Uh, we got this power forward, exact top six. We'll take him. I like it. Yep, 68 right wing power forward. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. So let's take a look at our first round pick here. So I think we uh that's that was some good trading there. We get an offensive defenseman. Yes. So Radic Porce Pell. He's from the Czech Republic. Six foot three offensive defenseman. That's pretty nice. See, um, uh, Wooly right there. Ooh, Harold power forward. 63 over. Oh, Hoyle the defenseman. Plenty of medium elites going around for all these teams. Um, where's the Vitaly guy? Vitaly, whatever his name was. Oh, right there. So, yep, 60 overall, well, top six. So, good thing we did not um, 
take him 8th overall. That would have not been good. So I think that trade was pretty good as of right now. Um, Let's see here. Now, I've been hearing that there's like 20-year-olds in the draft, and you take them. They're like high 70s or like low 70s even. So let's just try to look for some. I don't know if, there, if there'd be any. Starter, 18, Molson. Okay, like this guy. Uh, Re Reginald Molson. I don't even. I don't even know. Six foot three, two way forward. We'll take him. See, medium top six, 72 overall. That's what I'm talking about. So third round here, seventh overall pick. See what we can get. Keep an eye out for the 20 year old guys. Uh, 19, 18, set. Ooh, 17. We can go after him maybe if there's no 20 year olds. Um, 18, 18. I wish you could just click. R2 by switching them rather than having to exit 17. It's 18. So where's the 17-year-old Thomas right here? Uh, Trent Thomas, 5'10", center playmaker. We'll take him, see what he can be. Bottom six. Oops. <laughs> I can never really draft any good players in the in the third and fourth round, it seems like. So, yeah, we got basically the same thing. Uh, 18, 17, 19, 18, 19. Oh, he's 26 foot 5, 2 way defender. Timo Santorvio. I don't even know. That's a hard name. But we're going to take him. Medium top 6. Better than a bottom 6. So, we'll take it. We will take it. Better than a bottom 6 or 70. So, last pick here in the third round. Um, Campbell, what's he? Really? Man, we got all the interruptions coming today. My freaking Google Home's going off right now, talking to me, telling me my reminders. Making a video, man. Um, any 20-year-olds, though. That's what we got to... Okay, we're just going to take the low top nine, playmaking, and he's a bottom six. See what I mean? You just you can't draft good players in the third and fourth round, it seems like. So we'll make our last couple of picks here in the fourth round, simulate the rest. Comrie, 19, Nope, Millen, Goulet, um, Hamannick. Fortier, Savu, Barker, any 20 year olds. 18, Tarky, 18. Hmm. Nope, doesn't look like any 20 year olds. Okay, so we'll take the backup, medium backup, or the low backup. Fringe starter, not too bad, but eh, eh, we can do better. See, a low top four defenseman just got taken right there. Gotta be finding those players. What country is that? No idea what country that is. Um, keep an eye out for the 20 year olds though. Keep an eye out for the 20 year olds. And we don't want the exacts. Foster, no. Old Slaw, okay, 5'11. He's a 20 year old, 18 year old. Yolen, 18. There's a exact top nine. So, Topi Os Osla. Osla, I don't know. 5'11. See what he can be. Sniper. Oh, excuse me. A high top nine. That's an interesting uh, draft choice right there. 66 overall. I open okay. Well, I guess we're gonna make a fifth round pick here, but that's an interesting uh, draft selection there. So we'll keep him right now. But I want to see what his trade value is. Uh, bottom six, 20 year old right there. Ronick, Bodie, Panikaras. He's also 20. Um, those are exacts. What about Weeb? 20. Okay, I kind of like this guy. Six foot two, power forward, bottom six, and he's a low top or medium top nine. So not bad. So let's send the entire draft, and there we go. Drafting is done. Not a bad draft. We moved back in the draft and still managed to get an elite player. So that's uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, look at that. Verona had 63 points with the uh, Washington Capitals. So let's see. We don't have many players. Besides, we have spot check and a post go. I don't know if I'm going to keep a post go. We got younger players coming up, man. So we got how much in cap space? We got 22 million in cap space. Ooh, maybe go, maybe go spending a little bit. So... Um, Oposco, he doesn't even want to come back. What kind of year did he have with us? 27 points. Yeah, like, just no. No, Jesper Fast, he, does he want to come back? No. Smith is done. Anglin, you want a two-way? No. Harrington, he wants to come back. He'll, he's always going to want to come back. Give him that. Turgeon, he wants to come back, but he's he wants way too much. Jaros, no. He, no. Uh, Cordeals, he'll accept. Lemieux, no. Kerfoot. There you go, uh, Olfson. There you go, Lipton. Gotta keep the HL stack down there, okay? Yep, goaltender's nothing. Okay, spot check. So how much does he want? He wants one. Ooh, this isn't looking. I mean, he jumps up to ten million. He could just be hungry for money. But I'm really hoping he um he gets a good jump. So we'll give him two years at two point two, <laughs> just like that. Uh, this guy in the HL. He wants a one-way deal. No, thank you. 
Um, nope. Well, we can take a look here at the unsigned uh, players. So, post pedal, there we go. First round, 19th overall. Seventh rounder, 62 overall grinder. I'll take it from the computers. And got a sniper there, too. So, oh, wait, that was a draft before. Yeah, that was the last year's draft. But this Molson guy, interesting. Um, this guy, yeah, we got him this year, too. Um, got a low top six. Oh, we got we got a t low top four, six foot five, and four in the sixth round. That's crazy. This pick is interesting. I wonder how he'll turn out. But maybe he gets traded. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with him yet. But RFA four, he's got Mazora, so he ooh, ooh. That's a bit of a steep contract from a guy like him. Um, Amito wants five million. Wagner, yep, we'll get you Spencer. Nope. <laughs> so, Mazora. Well, uh, I want to offer him that. That's just a bit much. Let's go two years at 2.52. 2 like that. And then Amito will go... Wow, he doesn't really go up in price. Um, we'll go We'll go five years. And then we'll just put it down to 4.8 or 4.9. Hopefully he takes that. And yeah, that's basically all the signings right there. Uh, who do we want to sign? We'll sign the offensive defenseman because you never know. Uh, Molson, we'll get him signed. I'm not going to sign this high top, uh, high top nine yet. I want to see what his trade value is because that's a bit interesting. So I'll make sure I have all the signings done and then I'll meet you in free agency. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody has been signed that I needed to get signed. A couple AHL guys uh, rejected. Oh, excuse me. Harrington, he, he said he didn't like where the team finished in the standings. So I think we're just going to let him, yeah, we'll just all let all these guys go. They don't want to come back. So that's a lot of that's a lot of places to fill. We got to get some, man, I, I really want it fast to come back, but I don't think he is. And I don't want to offer him too much for a healthy scratch. That's just not worth it. So I have to let all those guys go, sadly, but it is what it is. And let's uh, sim to free agency. Man, I wonder what type of free agents could be sitting there waiting to get signed by a team. So we got a bit. We got a bit of money too. Uh, I don't care about Matt Spencer. That's whatever. <laughs> so here we go. Coming up to free agency here. What are we gonna see? We got 50 million cap space, and Alex Winberg is the highest overall free agent. Eh. I'm not impressed. Pfft, Cody Cece back out to free agency. It looks like whatever team he was didn't uh, whatever team he was on didn't want him. Ooh, medium elite sniper. He looks like a bit of a bust. Ooh, well, oh, he's an enforcer. Never mind. Uh, power forward. We can get this guy. Go after him. Um, you know, let's get all these players we can. Um, skim through this real quick. Just see if there's anything I like. Um, left wingers. Um, a fourth liner, a five nine. He is five nine, but trade bait. That's what we need him for. Um, nothing else really here. Uh, nope. Uh, right wingers. Um, Jarvis. Didn't I draft this guy? No, he went undrafted. But I am very dumb. Um, yep. Nothing else. Defenseman. There's a lot of old top fours. I'm not. I'm not signing that uh, enforcer. I don't think he's gonna do anything. I mean, he's got some pretty good defensive stats. Like, look at the body checking, the fighting. Ninety-four. He could be. He could be. He could be a force to be reckoned with down there. Lassard, offensive defenseman. We just signed one, so we don't really need him. Um, go down the top six. Anything special? No, doesn't really look like it. Okay. So goaltenders. There's a medium elite. Abney, Drew Abney. Don't need him though. Like I said, um, Robin Wainer, James Reimer, and Hutchinson are your three best uh, free agent goaltenders I'd go after Wainer but he wants a bit of money there so I mean there's really not anybody to go after here like let's see what Cody sees I mean I don't need Cody sees but like let's look at these he had a better year last year but I mean do we do we really need him like Table Teravine he's asking for a bit of money he hasn't even broke 70 points so a bit weird there uh now Yakupov how is he done he's doing just fine but he wants nearly seven million just, just crazy Nikita sure back like not bad but it's like no like you, you gotta find the gems <laughs> so interesting 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 who will we go after Fleep to know he usually put he's usually yeah like not bad like we maybe we can go after him but i think we know what our team consists of i don't think we're gonna go after winberg he doesn't look too impressive i think we got everything for our nhl roster so let's see here centers we got one okay what we okay no no no. i i can't do it this way anymore i gotta go into the contracts that's the better way to do it so let's view the contract see how many um 
players we have up right now and that are going to be on the NHL roster. So main roster forwards. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our top six right there. So we're good there. Seven. Mm, see, this is where we uh, fall off. Steen will be in the lineup. So he's eight. Hedberg in the lineup, nine. I don't know about Archer, man. He's just, he doesn't look very good. Like, let's take a look at his stats in the HL. They're not bad, but, like, his stats, like, look at the shooting. Like, he's got to get that up. So I think he's going to be Trey Bate. Watson, Watson, Steen, and Archer is our fourth line. So we basically need, um, oh, what the heck? I had an extension on him. Okay, so he's got to get traded. So our, we got a third line center, but we need a third line right wing and left wing. That is the problem. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um... And then defensemen, one, two, three, four, five. We got our top four. We just need some. We got players playing the top six. So our defensive core is good. Our goaltending is good. Oh, spot checked up, jumped up to an 83. He's a star goalie, boys. That's great to see. Oh, makes me that that makes me uh, wipe some sweat off my forehead now. So we need a third line. We need basically a whole new third line. So, and I think I saw Jason Zucker in there. He didn't want the craziest contract and Jason Zucker I've seen him do good in uh, GM modes before so maybe we go after him so left wingers uh Jason Zucker 31 years old he wants 3.6 but what, what kind of what does he put up here 34 points isn't bad minus four 18 penalty minutes um uh, let's look at the other stats I mean it doesn't give him away too much and if he does he takes it away a lot too so I think this would be somebody to go after here how about two ooh, 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 ooh. okay 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 Okay, um, wall from three years at 3.5, a little pricey for a third liner, but you never know what he can contribute to, like Anthony Duclair, like, whoa, 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 back, back the truck up, 47 points, didn't they win the stand, like, he was point per game, how are you gonna, guy, how, how are you gonna let a guy who is point per game, in the Stanley Cup playoffs, go to free agency. I should pick him up, but he's, he's asking for too much money. Um, hmm, who else? Uh, who else can we go after? Okay, well, we may have to go after a center. Or another left winner. Jimmy Vesey, no. Richie, no. See, like, they just asked for way too much money. Uh, Andres Bork, I don't even know how to say the same. He actually has some good stats. Uh, only played 16 games in the NHL. Must have had a big injury. Um, I mean, he, he's okay, too. He's not too bad. I like his defensive stats, so maybe we go after him unless there's a better center. But all right, so we got ooh Cody Eakin. He's a, he's a pretty good player too, but he's 32. Hmm, what kind of years has he had? Eh, he's been a minus most years, and he's barely been a plus. So I think I'll pass. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, pass on him. Cheyenne, he had seven points with Pittsburgh. I believe 25 points, not bad. Um, ooh, he gives away the puck a lot. Uh, Granlin. Uh, he. Takes away the puck as much as he gives it away, which is okay, but a minus seven. Uh, Flip to know. We know about Adam Brooks. Not bad for the def uh, offensive awareness. Or defensive awareness, excuse me. Frickin' Jeff Carter. You screwed us. He screwed us, man. Jeff Carter, he just screwed with us. Makes me mad. But, hey, it is what it is. Okay, so. Andres Bork. He wants one year at 2.5. Does he go up in price? He doesn't really go up much, up too, too, up too much in price. Off from three years at the asking price. So we get him and Zucker, and then we... I'm going to trade Brown. I mean, trust me, Brown, he's been here since day one. He's a decent player, but he like he's already he's already uh, slipping off a little bit. Like, let's take a look here. Logan, like, I'm not going to play it pay, excuse me, a center almost 4.5. Let's take a look at what he's done. He's had... The most points he's had is 33. And that was in a season where he got injured for a couple games. I mean... He doesn't really give away the puck that much, and he does take it away, which I like. But I don't know, man. A minus ten. He's. It's just hard to say, man. It's just hard to say. I think we gotta let him go, boys. I just. I don't think he's fit for the team. He's a bit much for a third line center. So yeah, guys, let me find a potential trading partner for Logan Brown. Alrighty, boys. I think I found the trade here, and some of you guys are gonna be livid about it. I know I said I don't want to. I don't want to be paying a third line center that much money. Well, here we are. <laughs> Kevin Hayes, he's like a third liner, 83 overall. And looking at his stats, he can do some damage on that third line. Let's take a look at his stats. So, yeah, this year he had a big injury, didn't really play that good. But look at his um his other years. So we started here, 40-point seasons. 
I can't complain. Yes, he's been a minus for most of them, but takes a lot of penalty minutes, which is a little offsetting. But look at his giveaways and takeaways. You know, like look at this year, straight even, takes away the puck a lot more than he gives it away every year. I'm liking that. So that's why I think I want to bring him in. And um, we retain 200 on salary. I watch, watch them not accept it because I retained a bit of salary. We're also giving them, you know, Trent Archer. Got to get rid of the trade value while I have it because I don't think he's going to be anything. So, yeah, Logan Brown and Trent Archer for Kevin Hayes. Will it go through? A trade rejected. Yep, we are not willing to retain salaries you suggested. Let's try to move it down to 150. Propose it. Trade, like, you got to fix this EH. That's dumb. Okay, down to 100. Propose it. Like, see, you can't even retain any salary in this game. Down to fit, like, what? Like, I can only ret retain 25k in salary. That's just a little, little dumb if you ask me. So, we got we got Watson on that fourth line center, right? Yep, he's right here. And then we got Hedberg and Steen. Basically, they're all right wings. So, we need some, um, we need some depth forwards, basically. So, let's get two depth forwards. And then, we have our depth defenseman. We should be good to, you to uh, go into it next season. That's what I'm thinking, basically. So, let's go to forwards here. Go all the way down. Um, looking for depth. Okay, Derek Broussard, too old. Paul Stasny, too old. Paul. I got, I got to know. Paul Stasny, okay. Just a bit too old. Uh, Bo Bennett, he's a bit older. I mean, I'd like to offer him, but he's already at bottom six. Um, JT Comfort, I don't know about that one. Um, just for fast, he's back out there again. We can just offer it to him if he wants to come back. He can come back. Um, Craig Smith, too much. Jeremy Bracco, Braden Colborn or Joe Colborn, excuse me. Uh, Fred Gouthier, Fred Gouthier. Oh no, he's a fourth liner. You gotta be kidding me. Um, you know, I want to go. I want to go off for Derek Broussard. You know what? Screw it. We're doing it. Derek Broussard. It's not gonna hurt me. One year. At 1.2. Bring it back to the Ottawa Senators for one more year. Why not? So there we go. We got our depth forwards. And let's advance the days now. And hopefully those third liners decide to sign with us. So advance the days here. See who we can get. So advance. Keep advancing. Coming to July 4th now. And nope. Nobody's accepted any offers yet. Okay. So uh, Bajoric accepted our offer. Very nice. Jason Zucker accepted our offer. Um, Jesper Foss, Derek Broussard's back, uh, Forbes, Andronov. Okay, so we got that uh, 75 overall guy. That's very nice. Did we get everybody there? Cause I think we, yeah, we did, and we had 10. We still have 10 million dollars in cap space, so we got some. We got some. Uh, we got some options. I don't think I can go after any. There's really no reason to go after a, another goalie. Yeah, no, there's no reason. We we can have Malcolm Subban back there. He'll be fine. Yeah, but. Are we, uh, we're not too far out of the salary cap range, are we? Let's take a look here. That's how I know. Nope, we're right in it. So that's good. All right. So I think all the changes have been made. Um, let me just see if I got to sign any AHL forwards. How many? Okay, we only got 39 contracts. We got enough goalies down there in the AHL. Um, we got one. Okay, so let's get that. Um, one. Okay, I'll figure this out too off screen. So this is not really important. I'm just going to stack up the AHL roster as usual. So I'll see you guys next season. Alrighty, here we are, up to ready start year 7, and the lines have been edited, the teams are ready, and you know, I, I don't know how to feel about this team, because last year I liked what I saw, and well, you obviously know, know what happened, we missed the playoffs, but taking a look here, we got Hoffman, White, Verana, Biesca, Amito, Gallagher, Zucker, Hayes, and Bjork, and then we got Forbes, who's actually grown a little bit, I just like his defensive stats a bit more, Broussard, we're still going to keep him playing, see what he can do on that fourth line, and Watson, so... It'll be interesting to see how that fourth line does. Then on defense, we got Carlson, Shabbat, Parenko, and the other Carlson. Now, Mazora has jumped up to top four potential. Carlson is slowly dropping. No. Carlson is dropping here. He has two years left on his deal, but he's still producing. He had a really bad, he had a big injury, though. We'll keep that in mind. But it was not a really good, not a good year last year, but he's still producing the best he can as a 33-year-old. So maybe after this year, at the deadline, he gets moved. And we bring up Anzora. We'll see how he does, man. Hopefully, hopefully he can play good. And then in net, spot check has go, has shot up two more. 85 overall starting goaltender. So that contract looks pretty good. I'm liking it. And then we got Subban backing him up. Our healthy scratches are Chariot, Fast, and Hedberg. Like Hedberg's defensive stats aren't bad, but I just liked um what's his name? I liked Forbes a bit more. You know, they just look a bit more appealing with all that checking. Even though he is a, even though he is five nine, you never know. 
So that's basically the starting lineups. You can see the special teams here. Not going to go too much into it. You can see I want BS to grow. Hopefully him playing with Colin White can work. And if not, we move him around. Uh, you can see the four on four there. Three on three. Extra attacker. Shootout. Yep. So that's basically everything for the NHL squad. HL squad. We're hoping, man. Henry Quick. He needs to grow, man. He, he needs to grow quick. Yeah, that, yeah that, that was a bad pun. He needs to grow, though. We had a good year last year. He's a 77 overall. He's playing on the top line with a power forward and a sniper. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. You can see we got our younger our younger forwards up here. You know, hopefully they can just grow into something good. Um, defensively, you can see here what the team is looking like. We're hoping uh, Pro Spal can grow. So that's basically what I want. Goaltenders, you can see there. And then I haven't actually edited edited these, so these are not set in stone yet. But you can just see this is what they could look like to start out. But yeah, I mean, there we go, guys. Do you think it was a good decision not to go after after any big name free agents this off season? Kind of just retool the team a bit minorly and see what this team can do. Yet. See what this team can do next year. So yeah, guys, comment down below what you think. But there we go, guys. You're number seven. We got to make the playoffs. Simple as that. So, yeah, guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.